is my third live stream of the week, which is like completely bizarre and unheard of. I'm actually shooting this on my phone and I basically went to the watch expo this morning. I got up at the crack of dawn, which absolutely killed me. I'm not going to lie. It was not fresh because I had a crappy night's sleep. I was awake at 3.30 in the morning with my cat puking and making noises like he was out of some kind of like demonic film, which was not super fresh. No, sir. So, and then I had to get up at 6.30 uh, and drive 40 minutes. Uh, but saying all of that, it's like Christmas morning on Watch Expo Day. Mm, absolutely love it. So I hope you guys are doing well. So I decided to do this quick video and I thought what I would do is rather than just editing a video and putting it all together, etc. And because I actually did pretty good, I thought I would show you guys exactly what I got. And okay, it's in two sections. So basically I bought four watches, which I'm pretty happy with actually. And I actually got some parts as well. And the parts, man, some of these parts I never even had before. I didn't even know it was possible. And I've always been preaching and basically saying that certain of, certain of these parts are completely unobtainable. And I managed to get some. So I'm going to flip the camera around and let's see exactly what I got. Hey Tom, I hope you're cool. Let me flip this camera around. Okay. So I'm going to position my camera just like this. So I got four watches in total. And like I said, I got a load of parts as well, which I'm super, super happy with. First watch, and I'm going to be a little bit careful with this because I've actually opened up the back of it already. This one I am really happy with totally in total. This is an Omega Seamaster calendar. It has got, and the thing that I really like about this as well, and I wasn't exactly sure at first, but I will open it. Look at the case, guys condition is actually pretty damn good as well and inside it's a bumper so inside it's a 353 caliber it's a bumper it needs a service and what i'm going to do with this one as well is i'm going to service this and do a restoration on the channel for this one because i've not i have serviced a bumper before but i've never done one on the channel so i thought why not do this one so inside you've got the inside of the case back with it being a bumper case and like I said I'm really really happy with this one. Oh don't worry about it Tom it's all good man these live streams are just up forever anyway so I don't expect the majority of people to even have the time to see it anyway. Everybody's got lives and they're doing their thing. So it's always up there to be later. It's just saving me some editing time by doing this right about now. The dial condition of this as well is really, really nice. And I really, really like the case. I have another Omega Seamaster bumper. It's not a calendar one, but I've got another one which has got the same case. It's got the original crown on as well. Horrible, disgusting strap, which will be completely removed. But guys, I'm really, really happy with this. So like I said, this is one that I'm definitely going to service. And I'm going to do it as a video for you guys as well. And I think it will be... A nice addition to have on the channel as well. So that's my first watch that I got there. Then, so I got this off of one dealer. Uh, then I saw another watch. Now I've had these before and I've actually serviced one of these on the channel as well. But I decided to cop these. And the reason I got these Omega Chronostop drivers. And if you can have one, why not have two? Yeah! So I got two of these and I was really happy with the price. Now they're not exactly perfect. That's the problem. So first problem with it, they work. So that's the main thing. They've got the caliber, the Handwind 865 inside. I've serviced one of these on the channel before, so you can quite easily go and see that. Uh, they completely work. This one has got an original Omega crystal on it because I can see the logo in the middle. You guys obviously won't see that. It fully works and everything, but as you can probably guess anyway, this pusher is not the correct pusher. It's absolutely monstrous. Look at the size of that thing. I think they've used this from a, a Seamaster Professional or something like that because this pusher is way too big. But the condition, again, it's not bad. And these driver models are really sought after. So the idea of it was is that the person who was in the car, they'd wear it on the inside of their wrist. So when they're holding the steering wheel, they can time their lap 
and they see it exactly as they need to see it without having to adjust their wrist. They're really sought after, and like I said, if it was a normal standard chronostop, which is this way with the dial at 12 o'clock here, I wouldn't have bothered, but the price was good, man. And, you know, because there was two, and then obviously with the Omega calendar as well, I got a pretty damn good deal, so I'm really happy with that. I'll source another pusher for this, and other than that, it's completely fine. Now, the other one, I actually like this as well. This one has got a nicer dial. I like the white handset as well. I'm really happy with that. I think that's pretty cool. Same condition, relatively good for exactly what it is. Uh, Crown needs some adjustment. That's a minor issue. The push is correct, but the only other issue that's wrong with this as well is on the inside, it has a small bridge for the escape wheel. And for some reason, it's been swapped because it's not got a serial number on it and it's in silver rather than the uh, rose gold plated kind of color, which is a bit weird. So I'm going to try and source one of those to correct that as well. But other than that, uh, there's no problem with them. And again, it's got an original crystal because the logo is in the middle as well. So again, I'm super, super happy with that. Uh, yeah, exactly. I am going to basically be selling these. Uh, I'm not 100% sure about the calendar. I already had a guy that I know, a friend of mine at the Watch Expo, and he wanted to take this off of my hands before I'd even left the building. But I was like, no, I don't really want to. So yeah, the drivers definitely will be uh, serviced and then I'm going to sell them. But I, like I said, I want to get the uh, correct parts. They do both have original Omega crowns on them as well, which is super nice. And the last watch that I got, now bear in mind, I've put one of my own straps onto it already because the strap that was on it was disgusting. Now, they did a, before I show it, they did a few of these models and you guys might know this as the Rotary Aqua Plunge. Well, this is one of those that's in those family, a Skin Diver Chronograph. And the most common ones, they came with the Landeran 248 movement. And I'm super, super freshly happy to say that this has got a value 92 in it. And I'm really, really happy about that. I will actually show you guys. Now it's unmarked, but what I like about it as well is that it's in a rose gold plate, which is really nice. On the back of this as well, you can see that it's got the uh, 450 feet or 150 meter waterproof case. Skin diver, obviously, with the type of case design that it is. And then inside you've got this rose gold plated looking value 92. There's no mark on the bridge, but when I look into this, a lot of them weren't marked on the bridge anyway. A lot of Enikas were like that as well with various chronos that they did. But um, for the price that I paid of this, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really happy. Whether or not I'm going to sell this one, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it's something that I might hang on to for a while because it really looks nice on the wrist. And the other thing with it as well is what surprises me about it is um it's only a 36 millimeter but it wears really big i thought it was a lot bigger than that but it's not it's 36 millimeter but the dial is really nice i really like the hands on it as well it looks like it's radium but it's really not it's tritium it's just dirty old uh, looking tritium but it seems to have got that kind of radium look to it which i'm happy with really nice bezel super super nice condition and um i really like the oversized pushes on it as well but this is exactly the same. If you guys Google it and you look at that rotary aqua plunge, they did many of these, many different companies did these in the late 60s. And this is just one of them. Price was great. Conditions really nice. Dial looks awesome. And uh, I'm super happy with that. And then the other thing, oh, before I get onto this, so I did finish it off and I wore it today and I was really happy with it. Came out really nice, super happy with it and it looks really nice cheers Daryl. yeah that dive watch that skin diver this is really really nice i'm not gonna lie i'm really really happy with how this looks yeah super super nice just really like even the inscription on the case back as well and this vintage strap that i put on it i actually think it really makes it really nice as well it's one of those annoying watches in a way as well because it has a 19 mil uh look size I'd rather have an even number like an 18 or a 20 because straps are easier to find. But this is actually a 20 mil strap, but because it's an older vintage one, you can actually see that even here, it's shrunken in a little bit with the leather. 
but it's a very old classic German made strap, really beautiful strap that I've had for many years that I just will not get rid of because it just works so well on so many different types of watches. So I thought, hey, you know what? I'm gonna stick it on this because the one that was on this was not super fresh, no sir. And then the other thing that I got, I saw my parts guy and dudes, I am hooked up. Mm. Lots of Enica, Enica goodness. All jokes aside, this really helps because parts in regards to Enica are getting much harder to find as it is. And these are all parts for the 1145 caliber, that kind of range. I've got setting lever springs. I've got complete balances. I've got lots of uh, main springs as well, pallet forks, you name it, I've got it. But then to add the actual cream of the crop, which really, really, and I'm getting to that, I'm getting to that. As a bonus, I also got a Sherpa Ops new old stock uh, bezel. I also got uh, two um, new old stock rotors from the Enica uh, alarm watch, the Memo, Memomatic, I think it's called. So that's got the Lemania movement in, and these are two new old stock rotors. Don't actually have that watch, so but you never know how it can happen. Uh, I also got some stems, some original, uh, like the really extra long original Enica stems. And you can tell that the original ones are not like some Ronda aftermarket ones because they've got the longer barrel on them as well. But then this is the golden thing for me. And to you guys, maybe it's something that you will be like, oh, okay, is that it? But before I get and show you what it is, I thought I've never seen these before and to actually have three of these <laughs> is actually unheard of. New old stock 1146 GMT hour wheels. These things are, man, they're priceless, man. Like seriously, I've never ever had these before. I had a guy that contacted me a few weeks ago and he sent me in his Sherpa guide and he said, oh yeah, the GMT is not working on it. As soon as I opened it up and I took the dial off, the teeth were all missing, it was all broken and I sent it back because I was like, dude, there's nothing I can do. Seriously, you can't get these wheels. They just don't exist. You cannot get them. And I got three of them, brand new, new old stock. And yeah, I mean, I don't even know what you can say about it because... I mean, yeah, they're unheard of, man. They are absolutely unheard of to get. So, yeah, so that's it. This is what I scored. And, uh, I mean, I spent a bit of money, obviously, but the parts especially will be massively helpful. I really, really like the two Chronostop divers, uh, drivers. They're really, really good as well. And I'm really, really feeling as well this Omega Seamaster calendar because the dial on it is really nice condition. The case as well is really nice condition as well. And having that original crown, I mean, it just, yeah. But this one as well, this is nice. I really like this. Just just that bezel, man, is so nice. Yeah, you're, excellent. you're absolutely right, Daryl. Those, those GMT owl wheels, I send people away, man. Let, let me turn the camera around on this. <laughs> But um, I, send pe I send people away. Seriously, I do. I send people away. Because at the end of the day, you can't do anything about it. If that wheel is broken or damaged in any shape or form, there is absolutely nothing that you can do. So, yeah, that's it. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> but guys, that was it. So I'm super tired. Like, I had such a crappy night's sleep because of everything. And then all the hassle with the pro fur man and puking up. I mean, he's getting old now. He's like 15. So I'm super knackered, so I just thought I want to show you guys exactly what I got. And I thought it would be just a nicer way to do it just as a live video. And obviously, it's going to be on the channel, so you guys can catch up with it later. But that Omega um, Seamaster calendar with the bumper, I will 100% uh, do a service on that. And I will do it as a restoration on the channel. So guys, I'm going to sign off now. I'm going to try and get something to eat. And I just want to chill out. So enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I will catch up with you guys real soon. Stay super fresh.